A lot of people might think of ActiveCampaign as only an email marketing software, but in this video, I'm going to show you the top three ways to use the ActiveCampaign sales CRM to close more deals. I'm Jason, growth specialist at Wildmail, where we help make ActiveCampaign even better for your based businesses. Let's check it out. So before I show you the top three ways to use the sales CRM, let's talk about what the active campaign CRM is in terms of sales uh, and deals. So the CRM is a database with all contacts, their deals, a pipeline to view the customer journey from lead to conversion and automation as well to let your sales team focus on selling, doing the things that they do best, building those relationships with prospects and then moving them through the pipeline to close. Now, in Active Campaign, this helps you build and maintain relationships with your customers. And the most powerful aspect of the way that Active Campaign handles this for your sales and marketing teams is that it breaks down barriers and silos between the two departments, right? Sales is always complaining about marketing, sending uh, poor quality leads. Marketing's wondering why sales isn't closing those leads. In this case, with Active Campaign, you have all of the data in one place and you can automate it. Both teams can share information about contacts. They can see when someone comes in, they can see when someone engages with marketing uh, communication. They can see when someone takes an action on the sales team, you can leave notes across teams. And that helps with both the feedback uh, from sales back to marketing, so then they can improve their content uh, as well as from marketing to sales. Okay, so that is one of the biggest benefits that I can dive right in and show you. Inside Active Campaign, you've got your contacts here, all of the different information about uh, the context that they've shared with you. And then we also, if I go into this example contact of myself, you'll see here at the top, uh, we've got their personal info, we've got the activities, you know, the actions, the engagement that they've taken with your brand. And then we also have their deals. So we can add a deal here. This will go directly into the pipeline that we choose. Uh, we can fill in all of the information for that deal and this can be accessed by both teams uh, both sales and marketing all right and then this here the deal section this is the pipeline that we mentioned and you can create multiple stages we've got call completed if i add additional stages here uh, we can say uh, follow up one for example now i've got an additional stage you can move these around you can move the deal you can mark it as one, you can mark it as lost. All of this can be automated as well. So this is what we're talking about when we mention the Active Campaign Deals CRM. So now let's talk about the top three ways to use the Active Campaign Sales CRM to close more deals. So first, you're going to be able to automatically notify sales team members and send one-to-one -one emails to all new leads. Now, it is true that Active Campaign is not the platform to use for uh, cold outreach, cold outbound emailing. You do need their explicit opt-in in order to send out marketing communication, but that protects uh, your domain, that protects your email, the health of your email, um, and that's good for marketing, that's good for your sales emails. As soon as you get someone in, they've you know opted in for content, they've opted in to receive marketing communication, you can immediately send a personalized one-to-one -one email to them when they opt in. So by incorporating automation, you can speed up those tasks, right? A sales team member doesn't have to be sitting there uh, waiting to send out these emails. You can automate a personalized email um, from the sales team. You can notify sales team member. We'll get into integrations, but you can ping them on Slack or whatever other platform you're using for internal communication and let them know, especially if that deal is of higher value to you and your team. So for example, someone visits a, a web page, we can add a deal right into the pipeline automatically. And if that deal has a value that's greater than 500, uh, we can add a task automatically again to that deal up here, reminding our sales team to call that lead because they are a high value lead. If not, we'll drop them into a lead nurture sequence. This is all automated. So that would be the first of the top three ways to use the sales CRM, notifying your sales team of higher value opportunities and sending one-to-one -one emails to all new leads. Uh, and then number two, automatically nurture leads and then update and manage your deals so you don't have to do that yourself manually. We can still, um, if I go into this example here, we can still send a one-to-one -one email, but now we can do it when they reach a certain lead score, send a perfectly timed email based on their engagement with our marketing uh, content, our marketing communications. So uh, here would be the, the very start. Someone comes in to our funnel, we're adding a deal, let's say they subscribe to a, a specific list. 
uh, we're adding a deal and then we can automate this management. So they're going to move through our pipeline. Remember, if I show you back here, the deal pipeline. Right now, we only have one stage as we build this out for ourselves inside Active Campaign from another sales CRM, uh, but they'll be able to move through the different stages like this, all automatically from this automation here. And this is an example. You can check out this video here to learn more about how to automate your pipeline stages but it's all based on using goals. So when certain actions like completed quiz, downloaded a PDF guide, added a product to their cart, and then purchased, all of this is going to be automated. You don't have to worry about it as the uh, sales rep. Um, it can be handled automatically. So that's the updating and managing deals piece. And then if we are using the lead scoring feature, this is just an example as well. So let's say a contact clicks a link in any of the marketing emails. We're going to add five points to their lead score. And as that builds up, if they hit a certain amount that you identify with your team internally, uh, based on the sales cycle, based on the number of touch points, then we can fire off a personalized email, either within active campaign using the one-to-one -one email action or using your own email through an integration with Gmail. Uh, this would not be sent through active campaign servers. It's personal and it's sent exactly when they've taken a certain amount of action or engaged um, to a certain degree with your brand, we're firing off a, an email. It's super personalized. It sounds conversational and it's inviting them to a call to discuss product X that they've shown so much interest in. So this is another great way to use the Active Campaign Sales CRM to track, nurture, score your leads, manage your contacts and build and manage your sales pipeline all on autopilot uh, using the automation inside Active Campaign. And then finally, integrations for advanced personalization. Now, as a sales team, you're probably using a bunch of other uh, software, maybe for your cold outreach, you've got uh, Close, Pipedrive, uh, Lemless. Um, there are a bunch of other different softwares instantly. Uh, and maybe you're using that to do cold outreach and bring in leads. So you can integrate that with Active Campaign, and you can also integrate your uh, platforms where they're making the purchase. So if you're running an e-com shop, I can show you the, um, the number of apps that integrate with Active Campaign. I mean, there are so many that uh, integrate natively with Active Campaign. And then, of course, you have Zapier as well. Um, if you don't see it here with a native integration, chances are it is available in uh, Zapier to integrate. So you can see here we've got Calendly if you're using that to book calls for your team. We've got Stripe if you're using that for the conversion event. Slack, if you're using that internally, you can ping your sales team members, as I mentioned before, let them know there's a high value opportunity. Uh, you can you know, um, pull in all of their purchase data from Stripe, pull in their call data. Uh, you'll actually see the Calendly information. If you have this integrated directly, you can see a custom object in the context, which I'll show you here. So all of their uh, e Calendly events, when they've booked with your sales team, all of this information gets pulled directly into their contact uh, in Active Campaign inside the CRM. And then you've also got the ability to integrate with other platforms, like I mentioned, Pipedrive, um, basically any other software that you can imagine either has a native integration or uh, you can pull it in from Zapier. And that's going to allow you to track and compile customer data across your different uh, platforms, across channels, and track their actions on these other platforms pull that data into one centralized spot where again, it's, it's uh, viewable and usable for your sales team and your marketing teams to provide a really personalized experience. Customers love when you personalize the experience, when it's information that they've you know given uh, you and it's really, really relevant. That's what we're aiming for, sending the right message to the right person at the right time. Um, and so integrating for your uh, tech stack for your sales team is super helpful with the sales CRM, pulling in call information, purchase information, and uh, any engagement that they have with your marketing communication on other platforms. So these are the top three ways that we would use the Active Campaign Sales CRM to close more deals, uh, automatically notifying the sales team of new opportunities and sending one-to-one -one emails to those new leads, then automatically nurturing leads and then helping our sales team update and manage their deals. And finally, making use of integrations for advanced personalization, uh, with your sales team tech stack, whether that's booking calls, uh, the purchase 
the platform that customers are making purchases on, uh, any other platforms that they may be engaging on so that your sales team has that information when they go to engage with your prospects. If you have any questions about any of these, just drop them below. We'd be happy to help out.